The Florida Legislature's special session on gambling has ended. And it's a huge success for the Seminole tribe, which now stands to become wealthier than ever. CBS 4's Mike Basilinda has the story from Tallahassee. Democrats tried unsuccessfully to shorten the 30-year deal to 15 or 20. It's too long. And several argued the Seminoles were getting off cheap with a guaranteed 2.5 billion payout for the first five years. This deal feels like we came to the table with the Seminoles from a position of desperation. The deal gives the tribe exclusive rights to sports betting, which isn't legal in Florida. Now we're having a conversation about servers. Some argued that having the servers on Indian land doesn't circumvent a requirement for voter approval. It is expansion of, ga expansion of gaming. Even supporters expect legal challenges. If the sports betting goes away, the compact still goes forward. We still get every dollar. But the vote wasn't even close. 97 yeas, 17 nays, Mr. Speaker. Under this deal, it'll be a lot harder for the tribe to stop paying the state. The tribe stopped paying $350 million a year in 2019 after a judge ruled the state had violated the previous compact. Well, in the old compact, what we did is there are rules in place that breached uh, what our compact was. So that's why we also set up a gaming commission to oversee the rules and set policy and the gaming commission has to look at the confines of the compact so they can't set a policy that's in conflict with the compact there's no doubt the governor will sign the legislation then send it to the secretary of the interior and the indian gaming commission and if approved in dc the money will again start to flow reporting from the state capital i'm mike vasalinda